act like we never left, BDA. This is a quick update as far as One World HD and his channel and some tips as far as community strikes and what to do to avoid those things. Now One World HD, his channel has been suspended due to a community strike and it's not really just. Everything that's been happening so far, you can really say it's crazy because it doesn't make sense. I will link his Twitter below and if you just check out his Twitter, you will see the whole link to the forum where you can see exactly what's been going on because he's appealed so many times and this happened to me a few days ago. I got my channel reinstated but I had to go through so much and he He's going through it right now so just go show your support and you know I know flying panda he made a video as well so it's only right that I you know give my support to one world HD we definitely want his channel back go check the link out below follow his Twitter and you will get to the form that is basically explaining everything you can just leave a comment there as well on the form basically saying yo this is BS bring his channel back Now, community strikes you can avoid those but they're kind of fickle. Mentioning certain websites that, I mean, I mentioned a website, I believe One World mentioned that website as well, I won't say it, but that can get your channel, I mean, taken down. Essentially, what he's being accused of is using bots, meaning robots or whatever, to increase the views on his videos. And, you know, that's BS, like, why would he need to use robots when he has, you know, so many subscribers, you know, that's the case. And, like, it, if YouTube just looked at the video, it's an updated video that he made and basically mentioned the website and they're saying he used bots to increase the views. They accused me of the same thing as far as using bots and whatever to increase the views on my video. I'm like, why, why would I do that? Like, that's, that's stupid as hell. YouTube right now, they're trying to crack down on spam. So community strikes, essentially you get one, two, three chances, but for certain things on your channel, they can terminate you right away. One of those things are using bots and increasing views because they want to really focus on analytics and they want the analytics to be as close to correct as possible. And if you have someone that's using uh, this false way to increase their views, that could throw their whole analytical perspective out of whack. So I get it where they want to make sure everything is legitimate so the analytics can make sense. Misleading content is another one that could get your channel terminated right away. Do not post clickbait material. If you post clickbait material as far as a title that's super exaggerated or has nothing to do with the video, your channel can get terminated. So they can flag your video easily and YouTube will take your video down without even essentially looking at it. I mean, maybe they have someone review it and it's like, okay, this isn't what the video is about. They probably won't watch the whole video even. Or sometimes they take it down without even looking at it. And you have to go through a lot of stuff to get your channel back. Trust me, I know. Another thing is tags. Don't put a lot of tags in your videos. The metadata is important. They really track that metadata. So putting an excessive amount of tags in your video where they're not necessary, that could count as spam and they're trying to get spam off of YouTube. I think the Rick Rowling thing, we don't see a lot of that anymore because that is misleading and stuff like that they're, they're trying to get rid of, period. You put all these tags and they're not related to your video, your channel will get shut down. Gaming, if you do not have approval for gaming on your channel, it can get shut down. People are jumping into it without the correct information, so they're doing the wrong thing and YouTube is cracking down. Nudity or sexual content, violent or graphic content, hateful content, threats, harmful or dangerous content can get you a community strike, but those excessive things, misleading, spam, gaming, um, excessive tags, all those things can get your channel terminated. Now the best practice as far as tags Put the appropriate tags for the video. If you're making a One Piece video, put One Piece, anime, manga, whatever, do not put, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, blah, blah, blah. It's like, you do not want to put stuff in your video that's not, tags about your video that's not in your video. They have to all come together to form one. Your channel can get terminated for that reason, guys. Let's avoid that as much as possible. Misleading content, do not put stuff as far as in your title that doesn't relate to the video and your tags, do not do that. The spam, <laughs> don't spam videos. Do not put all this information in descriptive data. And I also found that links to certain places can get you in trouble as well. I think if it's, if it's a link to something that you're involved in that can make you money, I think that's something that could put you in a bit of a, yeah, I don't know. If it's, because seeing the form with One World HD, 
they kind of mentioned, oh, was the link to a poll or whatever where you can make money off of it. And it's like fickle things like that they can do. Just steer clear. Just just don't do it. You know, copyright strikes, we know how to avoid those. Don't post copyrighted content. If you do, use a minimal amount, not too much. And don't, the sound easy as heck to pick up. They run algorithms to pick those up. So put sound no again go support one world hd go to his twitter you see the whole story there i will link his twitter below it will explain everything that's been going on with this channel and we can agree that it is bs so um like the video if you did guys again support one world hd right now it's a tough time i know for sure it's it's really tough you, you really don't want to be in that situation so you know just go, go support and you know have a good day guys